I am going to be attempting to chalk paint my bathroom with the Annie Sloan chalk paint. This is my first attempt, so I'm really excited about this. Right now I just washed it with the TSP degreaser. So that's that. I'm about to take off the hardware and then I will do my first coat, so I'll be right back. Okay, so what I just did, I'm gonna kind of make this thing look old. So I bought one of these at Joann's and I just sanded this down to get it kind of rough. So I'm gonna glue it with that glue, put a couple nails in it just to hold it there until it dries and that'll make it kind of look cool. So we'll see how that looks. So I'm holding that in place. It takes about 30 minutes for this glue to set. And I can't remember if I said I bought this at Joann's but I actually bought it at Hobby Lobby. Sanded around the edges so it's nice and clean. And as soon as it's dry, we'll take it off and start painting. Okay, so here we go. This is the first I've tried the chalk paint. I'm a little excited, a little nervous. And we'll see how many coats it takes because they always say one to one and a half, sometimes two. I'm actually doing this my bathroom first because I'm planning on doing my kitchen cabinets if this turns out decent. So let the fun begin. Goes on really smooth. Love it. Okay, so that's one coat. Took me about maybe a half hour. Definitely gonna need a second coat, but I'm liking it. And yeah. I love how it goes on, it's really smooth. The brush is awesome too, so definitely recommend paying a little, spend a little bit and getting her brush as well. So uh, let that dry and we'll go on to the second coat. I just finished the second coat, so I just wanted to show you the difference between the first coat and the second coat. Um, I actually was liking this one coat look, but it does need a second coat. So, yeah, it's pretty fast, not too bad. Okay, so that's coat number two. Looks pretty cool, so I'm gonna wait till it dries and then I'm going to go over it with a whitewash with the um, old white. Kind of get into the nooks and crannies and um, then I'm going to wax it and then tomorrow I'm going to put the dark wax on there and that should, that should finish it up. So yeah, very happy with it so far. Okay, so two coats, and then I went and did just like a, a whitewash using old white and just kind of whitewashed it and then wiped it down with cloths like this. They're just really just t-shirts cut up. I did use my Andy Sloan brush and then I had this little detail brush that got into the little nooks and crannies here in the. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the, let it dry. And then I'm gonna seal it with the clear wax, which is the soft wax. And then let that sit for 24 hours. Then I'll go back over it with the dark wax and we'll see what we get. So far, so good. Okay, so now I hit it with some sandpaper. It was, um, medium grade, so it wasn't too harsh. But um, any place that I've taken away the paint, when I do the dark wax, it's going to stick to it, so it'll give it that distressed, cool, rustic look. So now the next step is the clear wax. I forgot about the sanding that I needed to do first, so all right. So I'm putting on the wax, got the soft wax, and I'm just really getting the in the nooks and crannies because this is going to put a, 
a good seal. And then I'm going to go back on and wax on, wax off, and get that wiped away because it does take 24 hours for this to cure. And I want to be able to put the dark wax on tomorrow, so that's that. Okay, so I sealed it with the wax, darkened it up a little bit. You can see a little bit more of a shine. It doesn't look quite as chalky. And that's it. So tomorrow's the dark wax and it should be finished. Then I'll get some knobs. I'm not really sure what knobs I'm gonna do, but my, um, I have wrought iron in here. This is a wall that my friend Kelly painted and she did an awesome job. So I'm really, really happy how well this paint matched. It didn't even do that on purpose, but it did. So until tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna do the dark wax. And what I have right now is the Annie Sloan soft wax in the dark and my brush and a very fine steel wool. So this is the very first time I've ever used this, so it's kind of scary. And she says a little bit goes a long way, so this is what... So there we go. And what I'm going to do is brush it on and then I'm going to wipe it off with the steel wool. So I'm just going to get in all the areas. And what's nice about it too is if it does go on too dark and we don't like it, you can go over it with the regular clear wax and that'll take off any excess that isn't wanted. I really want to make sure I get in all these grooves. Okay, so there's place that, I'm going to hit it a little bit, the places that I've um, sanded yesterday, it'll attract wax, so and then I'll look really distressed and I'll just wipe it away. And yesterday when I did the Clear wax, I didn't have gloves on, but I definitely would recommend that just because it did kind of make my hands feel funny. So gloves are a good idea. Okay, so I'm going to play with that. I'll finish it up, and then I'll do the finished product. And let you see what it looks like. Okay, so that is with the dark wax. It's kind of hard to see, I think, in this lighting. Definitely antiques it. And I'm going to go back over it with some clear wax, and that actually will take off some of the darkness, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like before I do that. Really liking that. I like it a lot. And that's the soft wax. It actually looks like somebody, I watched one of the tutorials, they said it looks like mascara. And it's true, it does. It looks black in there, but when it goes onto the brush, it's actually really dark brown. And then the steel wool that I'm using is the super fine. And wipe it right off. So I'm gonna put the clear wax on right now, which is that right there. And I'll let you see what it looks like. Okay, so that's it. All I need is my hardware. Not really sure what type of um, knobs I will get, but probably something that will go with the wrought iron. But I'm really liking it. Very, very happy with it. Um, one mistake I made though is I didn't let the dark wax dry before I put on another coat of the soft wax, and it made my soft wax brush dirty. So I had to clean it, but um, next time I'll let the dark wax dry and then put, go over with the soft clear wax. 
other than that, I think I did pretty good for my first project, so I know you can too. Alright, thanks for watching.